Hello, this is Callie McMillan from Go Engineer, and today's topic is SolidWorks Secret Gems. The first part that I'm going to cover here is dealing with a part, so sketching, and then I'll move into some things you may or may not have known about features. Um, these things may have been added throughout different releases, or just might be things you forgot about throughout the time you've used SolidWorks. So as I said, the first thing I'm going to cover is just in sketches. I'm going to do just a couple of quick things. Um, in the last couple of releases, one of the things that was added, it's called mouse gestures. And the way you activate mouse gestures is to hold down your right mouse button and just move it around the screen. And wherever your mouse is, you'll get this wheel. This is fully customizable, just like any SOLIDWORKS toolbar. And by default, these are the different commands available. So if you were to hover up over the upper part of this, you'd get a dimension. If you were to go down on this um, rectangle part here, you would get a rectangle entity. To the left, you'd get a line. To the right, you'd get a circle. So for this one, I'm just going to hover over the rectangle, and it activates the rectangle command. So it's just nice to have that right at your fingertips. And then hover up, and you'd get your smart dimension. I'm just going to type in some sort of random dimensions here. And what I can do from here as well is activate the shortcut toolbar. Now, if you're really slick, you could add the shortcut toolbar to your mouse gestures. Uh, but here to activate it, I'm just going to use the S key, S for shortcut. Brings this up, once again, right at your mouse, wherever that is. And here I've added in even some things that are not sketch entities. So I have an extruded boss that I could add just from right here. You're probably already familiar with the ability to drag an arrow if it's a blind extrusion. You can use the scale here to have a more accurate representation of whatever it was that uh, distance you were going to extrude, so maybe 20 millimeters here. And then I can select the green check, of course. Another functionality that's really nice, a fairly common uh, thing that you would have to do is move from the line command into a tangent arc. So there's a quick way to do that without interrupting your design process by going and activating a different command in your toolbar, etc., etc. First thing I want to do though is look at this at normal two or at on top view. And a quick way to do that is by using the spacebar. The spacebar brings up your common orientation views. So we have normal two, front, back, left, right, top, bottom, ISO, trimetric, and diametric. The way to activate any of these is to just double click. So double click on, for this case, normal two. Now you can leave that window up if you want, if you just like to have it there. There is a push pin available so you can keep it up, but it's nice to just use the space bar so that it shows up wherever your mouse happens to be. So here I'm going to just start by using a line and just sketch something like this. Now, to activate the arc command directly off of a line, so see I've started my next line that's connected to the previous one, there's two ways I can do this. One is to uh, just tap the A key on the keyboard, just tap it, don't hold it down or anything, and it's going to turn that into a tangent arc instead of a line. The other way to do that is with that same line started, just to hover over that start point and it also will turn that into a tangent arc. I'm going to place the second point of my arc and then automatically it returns to the line command so you can continue with your design. So that's a nice one to know about just so you don't have to come up here, change your entity, that type of thing. And then of course using my mouse gestures I can go ahead and define this a little bit better. Um, one thing that I get a question about every so often is how do you dimension not to the center point of an arc, because if I try to dimension from here, let's say to here, it automatically is going to snap to the center point. Now, what if you wanted to dimension the overall distance? That's very simple to do. You don't have to add a point. I see that sometimes people want to add a point uh, at the quadrant here. Not necessary. So using my mouse gestures or however you want to activate your smart dimension, hold down shift. So during the operation, just hold down shift and then click the edge of the arc and then whatever you want to dimension to. And then you can really shift. Once again, that's a nice one. Now maybe I wanted to center this item, this piece of geometry, on the existing uh, 
extrusion that I already did. So I can do a center line, let's say a line for construction, and I'm going to make that go through the center by using my midpoints that show up, my automatic sketch relations. Uh, a couple of options here to add a relation. Either you can hold down control and select the two items that you would like to make symmetric as well as what they should be symmetric about, which is the center line, and then you can choose symmetric, or a quicker option is to just use your right to left selection and select all three of those and once again symmetric will appear. Oh, looks like I lost a tangent, that's okay, so I can hold down control, select these two items and make those tangent. another quick dimension here and that should take care of my full definition of my sketch and then of course my S key and I can do an extrusion my space bar once again and I can do isometric by simply double clicking if I continue on with this model now I want to make a circle and this could be either an extrusion or a hole but in this sketch I want to make a circle that's concentric with this outer edge here. In order to do that I'll activate my circle and then rather than having to add a relation after the fact I can do it from the very beginning. If I hover over that arc edge, so here you see I'm just hovering, I've not clicked, I just hovered, it wakes up the center point of that arc. Now what I can do is use that as the first click point for my circle which is the center in this case. So click on the center point of that radius and it will also be the, the center of my new one. So you see the coincident relationship between this edge center and my new entity. If I exit the sketch, I can utilize one of the features called Instant 3D. So it is available on the Features toolbar. You'll have to activate it, Instant 3D. Now what will happen if I click on this sketch, I can choose this, this arrow right here and I can grab that and drag it either up to add material or if I drag down and I'm using my scale to determine the distance here but if I go down into this other part then it's going to be a cut so either add material or remove it so SolidWorks is pretty intelligent as far as that goes so maybe we want to extrude that or do a cut extruded down 20 Another quick thing that's pretty neat, so space bar, double click on normal too. Let's say I wanted to, I don't know, I sketch, let's say, a slot, the slot command. And I wanted to do another one of those on this side over here. So I'll sketch my center line. We know that in order to do a mirror, I have to have a center line. And instead of clicking on all of these entities, to sketch to uh, mirror rather sorry about that to mirror over I can simply select everything in a window including the center line when I choose mirror entities then it knows then that the center line here is going to be the center of my mirror and that whatever's over here is what I want to mirror so that's a nice one that I'm not sure everyone was necessarily aware of Now in this case, another nice one to know about is your middle mouse button. Let's say we zoomed way off in space, I don't know where my part went. Well, if you double click your middle mouse button, which is your scroll wheel, if you double click that, it's a zoom to fit. So also the F key, F for fit on your keyboard, both of those will work for zoom to fit. So that's a nice way of not having to come up here and find on your heads up display which one is zoom to fit. This concludes the secret gems portion of a, a new sketch and in the next one I'm going to show you how to um, activate some of the cool features within some of the other options here. So that was just sketching, now we'll look at some of the features themselves.